What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing shoulder transitions with a rifle. But first let's talk about why you would conduct a shoulder transition. If I am a right-handed shooter, I am on the right side of a barricade. When I try to peer out, I'm minimally exposing myself. Just barely are you seeing my shoulder and basically all you're seeing is muzzle. But if I was to try to do that same thing on the left side of this barricade, now my whole left shoulder is exposed, my whole left arm is exposed, and in order to actually get on target, you're seeing probably my left leg. That's a much less ideal situation because I'm in a much more dangerous position. So in that case, if I conducted a shoulder transition and switched to my support side, now I have the same level of cover as I did on my strong side on the right side of the barricade as I do on my support side on the left side of the barricade. But I'll preface it by saying this is not something you were going to want to do in every situation where you're firing from the left side of a barricade. If you're in a team environment and you're conducting CQB in a dynamic entry, you're probably not gonna to wanna to do that all the time because you're gonna slow up the team. So there's certain circumstances where you would do it and certain circumstances where you wouldn't do it. So we're gonna be covering two methods today to actually conduct the shoulder transition. So before we get into it, the one thing I'll say is, if you're using a two point sling, what I like to do is actually wear the sling as a necklace rather than having my arm through. And the reason I do that is because if I have my arm through and I begin to conduct a shoulder transition, sometimes it's just too tight and it gets caught on the stock here and it's just not really convenient. So for that reason, I like to have it just wearing it around my neck and it's a much easier to manipulate in that situation. So the first method, I'm shooting on the right side of a barricade and I decide I need to switch to the left side of that barricade for whatever reason. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my strong hand off of the grip, place it right in front of the magwell. Once I have that, I then release my support hand, shoot up the stock of the gun. The reason I shoot the stock of the gun up is to clear my sling as well as my plate carrier or whatever gear I have on. Then I switch shoulders as I'm moving into position, place it into my support side shoulder pocket, then establish my master grip. Once I've established my master grip and my cheek weld, I'm gonna then push my strong hand back out on the rail to again maintain good mechanics and have that proper recoil management. All right, so the next method that I see more and more often lately, and it's kind of catching traction, it's not one I use all that often, but I'll show it to you anyways. So rather than trying to transition by switching your hand positions from your strong hand maintaining master grip to your support hand maintaining master grip, you simply bump the stock over. So if I'm here trying to transition to the other side of the barricade, rather than going through the hand manipulation, I simply push the stock out to my left side cheek, my support side cheek, maintain a master grip with my strong hand and maintain my support hand off on the rail. And then now I'm still using the same mechanics. I'm minimally exposed, but I'm still using my strong hand, to manipulate the trigger, my support hand to bring that rail into me to maintain recoil. So that's just the second option, guys. Other than that, those are really your only two major options that you typically see. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but uh, try them both out and whatever you do, train with them. Whatever method you're gonna do, train, train, train. The most important thing is to get out here and train when you're gonna do it. And you can also train dry fire, guys. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hopefully I earned your subscription with this video. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one.